In this video, I want to talk about sleep deprivation and weight gain. Unfortunately, when you're sleep deprived, when you're not sleeping enough, you're creating this hormonal state in your body that could potentially lead to weight gain and just keep you hungry all day long. So we're gonna talk about ways to prevent that in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Cola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you really wanna improve your fitness, health and nutrition along with me, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, research has shown unfortunately that if you're sleep deprived, if you're not sleeping enough, and I would define sleep deprivation for an adult is if you're consistently and regularly sleeping less than seven hours a night. I personally try to get eight to nine hours every single night. So if you're only sleeping seven hours, believe me, you're not getting enough. And I mean, let me tell you what happens to you hormonally when you're sleep de deprived. First of all, there's a hormone called ghrelin. Now ghrelin is actually the hunger hormone. So when you're not getting good quality sleep, ghrelin goes up. And what that's going to mean is that you're going to be hungry all day. You're going to be a constant state of hunger. You're going to have low energy. Studies have shown that you, you will have a much greater chance of making poor food choices, like going for that quick sugary snack as opposed to eating something healthy. Okay. The other hormone that's affected from lack of sleep is leptin. Now, leptin is like that appetite satisfaction hormone. For example, it tells you when to stop eating. So when leptin is down, like lack of sleep reduces leptin, you're going to eat food and you're actually not going to feel satisfied and you're going to want more. So a horrible like combination for weight gain is to have your ghrelin high and to have your leptin low. And that is exactly what happens when you're sleep deprived. And it's not like your willpower is off. You know, these are, these are hormonal reactions that control so many things in your body. So you need to get good quality and quantity of sleep. And there's an, also another really powerful hormone that studies have shown are affected when you don't sleep it up, but that's insulin. The body becomes insulin resistant when they don't have enough sleep. Now I'm gonna link up a, a video I did about insulin resistance, but the quick explanation of what it is is that the, the pancreas produces insulin to take the sugar, to take the glucose out of the bloodstream. When you're eating tons of um, carbohydrates, just pretty much overeating in general, you can become resistant to insulin. That means insulin is just not working properly. It's not doing its job right. And that's gonna to lead to a lot of different health issues like metabolic syndrome, can lead to diabetes, and just being overweight and obese. So you don't wanna be insulin resistant you want to be insulin sensitive. You want insulin to work properly. And unfortunately, when you're lacking sleep, you're going to be insulin resistant for a good portion of the day. Even if you're eating really well, like say you're eating a perfect diet like I do, I'm going to link up a diet that I, that I think is the best diet that anyone could possibly eat, a diet that I follow, which, which will make you insulin sensitive. But even someone like myself, who I think I eat pretty much perfectly, if I only sleep two, three hours one night, I could be insulin resistant for half the day the next day, okay? So now that you know all the, the reason why not sleeping enough hormonally can throw your body off and put you in a position where you can gain weight, let's give six or seven tips that you can follow, like starting today, that's gonna help you sleep better, okay? Number one, okay? Don't take in caffeine like in the after, late afternoon or in the evening. Obviously, it's, it's going to stimulate you. It's going to keep you up. Some people can tolerate it, but I say 90% of the people should not have any caffeine, say, after 2 in the afternoon. Okay, another tip you can do to help you sleep better is just to exercise. You know, research has shown that exercise improves the quality of your sleep. Okay, some people have a hard time exercising like right before bedtime, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Get your workout in either in the morning, you know, in the afternoon, or maybe early evening if that's the only time you have right after work. But don't try to work out and then go right to sleep. That could be kind of difficult. Okay. The other thing you want to do is you don't want to eat late at night and then go to bed with a full stomach. You know, you're going to be digesting that food. You're not going to get a good quality night's sleep if you just ate a full meal and then went, to, went to, to sleep to lie down right then. Also, I wouldn't down a lot of liquids or water right before you go to sleep, just for the fact that, you know, you might wake up in the middle of the night once or twice to actually go to the bathroom. In fact, you may even want a little bit underhydrated right before you go to sleep. And then as soon as, soon as you wake up in the morning, 
first thing you should do is have a nice big glass, a glass of water. Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to reduce the blue light. You know, you might be hearing about this, it's kind of popular now. Okay, blue light is like the light that comes from LED lights, you know, from computer screens, from cell phones. You know, I would say two hours before you're ready to go to sleep, try to get rid of the blue light or reduce, dramatically reduce the blue light. It's going to get your rhythms ready to go to sleep. You know, it's going to, you know, it, you'll have a better chance of increasing your melatonin, which is that relaxation hormone, you know, when you go to sleep. That's another thing you might want to do too. It would be great if you can blacken out your bedroom. I did this. I did this about a year ago. It dramatically increased the quality of my sleep. I sometimes I even sleep with one of those night masks. You know, I say if I we go away to a hotel room if, if it's not at a black in that room. But you really want to, if you can, blacken out your room. Get blackout curtains. You know, the LED lights on clocks. Try to really re- put a piece of tape over those. Try to try to keep the room as dark as you possibly can. Get the, you know. These are the circadian rhythms of the body. Like you want your melatonin and growth hormone to be elevated from good quality sleep at night. And then when you wake up in the morning, you know, the cortisol hormone, that's that's going to keep you alert. And that's what you want. You want cortisol to be high in the morning and you want melatonin to be high, you know, when you're going to sleep. Okay. Now, another thing you may want to do is you want to probably keep the room kind of cool, you know, when you're going to sleep at night. I think you'll sleep better generally in a cooler room as opposed to getting hot and waking up in the middle of the night. And another really important thing is just to get into that rhythm. You know, it's nice to go to sleep the same time every night. It's nice to go to sleep. Say you go to sleep like 9, 10 o'clock, get an hour to sleep, wake up on the same time, get into a rhythm, a sleeping rhythm. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I hope you realize how important it is to get good quality sleep. Unfortunately, we all know like half the country is sleep deprived. You know, cognitively, weight gain, you, know, you really can contribute a lot of these things, a lot of these issues to lack of sleep. Okay. Well, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition along with me, you know, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. And if you can, you know, leave a comment. I'd be I'm really curious to know what your sleep routine is. If you have a routine that's really working well for you, I'd love to hear about it. And I'm sure everyone else watching the video would too. Okay, take care everyone and have a wonderful day.